Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope people are taking some time off to spend time with their family or maybe go to church or if you if you believe. Uh, and then also I hope people are just doing well in general. So unfortunately, I, I fell short of my 1001 uh, subscriber goal, but maybe there's maybe like next week or maybe like sometime after that, um, maybe I can reach the goal. Uh, this way I can share like the dashboard in like a more complete fashion uh so this is what it would look like for defiance and i just want to say thank you to the kind subscriber um uh, that that gave me a super thanks so i guess this is kind of like a consolation prize uh so let's see if i can maybe drum up some interest and maybe uh, maybe next week or sometime after that uh start showing like the dashboard in full uh, so just to kind of give you an idea what this would look like. So for IWM, you can see like the the market value and kind of like the breakdown by treasury, cash, and options, uh, similar to what I'm going to show you uh, later uh, with the spreadsheet. Um, and then this kind of gives you like a little bit more complete uh, way to see like the like the options. Like for defines, it probably doesn't matter too much since it's generally just like maybe one cash occurred put, but in the in the future, it might be interesting to kind of see like if there's any like intraday changes if if any and then let me just show you something else so let's look at maybe uh, this guy over here uh, so this kind of gives you a breakdown of like kind of like the comparison between like the net asset value and the and the the uh, the price of the ETF share and generally you want to see them like kind of like stick close to each other but sometimes there's like you can see like this little gap over here uh people overpaid uh relative to like the net asset value um and then the something and then over here on the bottom uh this kind of gives you like an idea of like the premium discount and you can see it kind of lines up for like the like the 21st uh that you know obviously i guess some people uh way overpaid it, but and then like sometimes you see like over here like like around like March 5th, um, you see people like, well, technically there wasn't much of a discount, but I guess that's kind of like the best that we can do um, in this situation. And then if I kind of like kind of scroll over. Uh, so the good thing is like over time, like the like the dramatic like discounts and, and premiums aren't, aren't as, as good, uh, aren't as like volatile over time. Uh, so that could be a good thing uh, heading into the future. And then just, Let's just take a look at uh, Spy T uh, just for fun to see if there's any discounts. Um, fortunately, not much of a discount. Uh, people are actually overpaying a little bit, but it's not too bad. Like definitely, like in the beginning when people didn't know uh, what they were doing, uh, you know, people overpaid unfortunately. And then I guess like the best that people could do, like over here, uh, there's there was no discount. Uh, I guess like back in like the, around the 14th. Uh, so that could be a good thing. So hopefully over time people learn and not to like maybe like pile into things. And I think this is where like uh, this dashboard might be helpful in the future. Uh, well, at least for like defiance ETFs. And then maybe this combined with the yield max one, uh, maybe we can uh, get something, get, get some positive momentum going for the channel. And then, so let me give me a second. Let me just turn this off and then bring back the spreadsheet. And then hopefully everything looks looks okay here. Okay, so we can see like uh, for IWM, uh, I guess like, you know, as I mentioned um, yesterday, it was pretty pretty much a quiet week. Uh, not much of a change in terms of like the, with the actual price, uh, but you do see some like movement um, between like the cash and the, the treasuries. And then, so a little bit of a more premium f to start like the new new week, uh, went from eight cents to 11 cents, so it's not too bad. And then let's take a look at Chepi. And then uh, some same thing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Chepi took a little bit of a, a dip. Uh, so then you can see the cash position went down a little bit. Uh, and then the treasuries increased a little bit and you see a slightly more uh, premium per share, uh, one from four cents to seven cents uh, to start the new week. And let's take a look at triple QY. Uh, unfortunately had a little bit of a slide. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, cash actually went negative. It went from positive nine cents to like negative 60 cents. So hopefully, 
maybe this week will be better. Uh, went from what treasuries went from 1646 to 1656. So not too bad. So, uh, and then like the you know the option premium is a little skimpy, just like one penny more. And then let's take a look at Trez. All right, so Trez uh, also took a bit of a slide down. Uh, cash went down a little bit, and then the treasuries uh, kind of I guess like stayed pretty flat. And then the options position, uh, so you had a 29 cent debit, uh, went down a little bit for 24 cents. So hopefully there, there's going to be some improvement. And I'm really glad, like I caught like the spy T, like kind of like that. I don't think it's a data issue per se. I think it's just like a timing of like the, like the update of the website. Um, and then there's also like I noticed like there's more people piling in. And but the good thing is like I think I kind of like smoothed out like some of the issues so like you shouldn't see like spy T like have like crazy moves um up or down like from like twenty bucks uh so so far like uh, looks like the, the net asset value uh I guess like kind of like like the goal is to kind of keep it kind of flat but it looks like they're doing a pretty good job here uh unfortunately the cash went from like a positive like thirty one cents to the negative twenty one cents. Uh, hoping that's just like a temporary thing and then you see like the cover call overall position for like the options well i guess like the a, it's not really a cover call it's like stocks plus a like a, a credit spread uh using the xvx on top of it so it's kind of like a like a mishmash cover call um but anyway uh so hopefully hopefully um people enjoy this type of content uh please consider giving us a like uh if any any subscriptions are welcome uh, of course like i appreciate super thanks as well uh, so thank you for watching i hope people enjoy like the rest of the weekend and i hope uh you know people have a good uh, trading week uh for for like the to start april um, so thank you for watching i hope everyone has a good day bye now